thanks for dropping me off, babe. Dad said my car should be ready by tomorrow. No problem, sweetie. Listen, I don't mean to pry, but don't you think it's a little weird that your dad's gonna charge you twice what the dealership would and he's never actually fixed a car before? Well, now I do. Yeah. But luckily I have on my furry foot Xanaxes. Yes, I, I might be worried. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, hey, look, it's my boy Jay. Hey, Jay! Thanks for dropping me off, babe. The car will be ready by tomorrow, all right? So. Yeah, sure, no problem, sweetie. Because dropping you off at this weekly bullshit ankle twisting contest during my lunch break isn't half as important as taking care of your three kids working a full time job or keeping up with that upside down mortgage, North Korean refinance bullshit house you picked out for us. Sure, sure, yeah. You know, I'll probably just catch you right home. Oh, he's wise with him. Yay! Oh, and don't think I forgot about that bullshit story you fed me about someone randomly vandalizing our car for the fifth time this month. Yeah, you're probably right, babe. You know, Sure, it wasn't random. I mean, how many other cars in the street got hit, right? One. And I'm pretty sure Miss Ramirez's car didn't have Die J, you limp dick fatso, keyed into the side of it. Yeah, it definitely sounds focused. Jay! You must be Jay's wife! <laughs> Honey, I think there's a mentally ill man outside our car. Awesome. One, they're comfortable, which I probably don't need to say considering they're basically a wearable house shoe. Two, they are made in Australia, so I think it's pretty safe to say they're durable as hell. <laughs> and you know, if you need any more reasons than that, probably just not a nut guy. I'm not a nut guy. Yeah, I like girls. What's up, fellas? Yeah. I don't know why I'm late. I don't know. You were uh, arguing with the liquor store clerk about why they don't sell single cigarettes again? Partially. But the reason I needed this pack is because Janet and I were just in the parking lot talking to Chuck's wife about the dinner plan she's making for the four of us. What? what? Yep. This douchebag Chuck just introduced his wife to mine. Oh, come on. Whoa, whoa. whoa. You're overreacting just a little bit? I could shoot you in the face and I wouldn't be overreacting. Dude, don't tell me you don't know about not crossing streams. I'm guessing by that retarded look on his face, he doesn't. Dude, that's basic shit, Chuck, chill out. I went to Montessori school. Of course she did. Wait, hold up, peep game. You've been to Dodger Stadium, right? You seen the long community piss basin? I'm a Rockies fan. God damn it. Yeah, the point is, you ever cross streams with another dude? Well, there's this one time. Oh, let me guess. Right after you got piss splattered all over you, you got your ass whooped. The cleaning crew didn't find me till three hours after the game. Well, knowing that, then why'd you just do it to me outside, huh? Why did you cross streams with me, Chuck? Hold on, I don't understand how me getting put into a coma at the Rockies game and introducing Melissa to Janet are related. What if that wasn't my wife in the car? The way he lives his life, it was a fluke that was his wife. You hear that? A fluke! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, give me some credit, man. I knew that was your wife. I recognize it from your Facebook pics. We're not Facebook friends. Ah, uh, that's... There's a funny story. Okay, so we actually have a mutual friend in common, oh. uh, Julie Davies. We work together, and uh, I look at your pictures on her page. Wait a second, Julie Davies? Like Julie Davies from San Bernardino. You know Julie too? <laughs> Hello, I love Julie, my God. We went to college together. No, wait, just a goddamn minute. Is this the Julie Davies that brought attempted rape charges against you when you were a sophomore? Yeah, <laughs> probably. The same Julie Davies that cost me 250 k in legal fees to just barely get you a hung jury and stop you from going upstate and becoming some Mexican's glory hole? It's very graphic. Uh, again, I'm not 100% on that, you know, because college was like a lifetime ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I signed that lifetime restraining order she has against you. Okay, just, just keep yourself centered, okay? And let's just think about the Native Americans. They were able to forgive us. I think we should be able to forgive her for getting her hands on some sour mushrooms and then just going on a doozy of a bad trip. You know, it could happen to anybody. <laughs> Julie Davies, though. This is a small world, Chef. It's a very small world. Anyway, I'm gonna go talk to Epstein about barring that shofar of his. Epstein! I should have let him go to jail. It might have helped. Yeah, maybe. Also, might have got raped a lot, you know? <laughs> Ended up crossing streams like Chuck. <laughs> Chuck, you been raped? You guys are ridiculous. Give me one good reason why it's a bad idea that our wives are friends. 
You're wearing Uggs. Because I want to buzz a nut on your way? Pretty sure you're gay. How about the fact that you are my alibi 99% of the time? I mean, just last night I was out with my girl, and I told Janet I was with you building a bookcase. Wait, your girl? Okay, she may be my fiance. We're having hard times. So I don't think we're gonna make it to the wedding. You see that? You see those looks they're giving me? These are my boys, and they're looking at me like that. My life is a mess, Chuck. Do you understand why I need an alibi? Can't you put it on someone else? No! You're my guy! What do I, am I gonna hang out with Larry? That's ridiculous. Look at him. He's, he's a big, scary old man. But I had a security for the Beach Boys. Well, what about Brandon? Uh, Janet be blowing my phone up every five minutes, wondering if I'm okay. Yeah, no offense, but he's black. I mean, anything could happen with him. I could wind up in a ditch somewhere with crack in my pocket. Yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you think that just because you said, no offense, that you ain't supposed to get pissed the whip for that racist comment? Racist comment? <laughs> Hang on a Smoke. second. Yeah. Right. Yo, Jay Boogie, it's Be Nasty. I just ran my car into a ditch somewhere, man, and the cops caught me with crack in my pocket. I need you to do me a solid and bring that D down to bail your boy out. Peace. So, you did get my message. You're my guy. Why are we even having this conversation? Why don't we just get a couple pillowcases, a few bars of soap, and then take him out back and teach him something? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Terrible idea. Yeah. Ah, damn it, we can't. We got next. We got next. Come on. Yeah. Hey, Chuck. A uh, really quick question. Does, uh, does Julie still drive that red Maxima 92? I think so. Ah, uh, just like the old days, yeah. What's her phone number? I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's our address, though? Where are you going? Look, it was attempted. Attempted rape is different than actually raping someone. Six minutes. Six freaking minutes. I knew I should have worn my Uggs. Say Uggs one more time. I dare you. Say it. Jay would not pass me the ball. Of course he wouldn't pass to you. All you kept doing was passing it right back to him. You did that the whole game. We were in the middle of a spat. I, I was trying to feed him to smooth things over. Well, a lot of good that did. Guy couldn't hit the side of a f***ing backboard. Come on. How am I supposed to concentrate on basketball when Chuck just ruined my life? Uh, let me help you. Ow. Check out baby girl over there. She rounded all the right places. Uh, including her upper back. She'd be an East German power lifter or shot putter or a model for big backed women. That bitch is sexier than Jodie Foster in The Accused. Are you kidding? She's clearly a lesbian. Yes, she is. Yeah. My dream girl, Cheryl Miller. Yeah, right? Actually, I'm lying. That ain't my dream girl. It's actually Chuck's wife, Melissa. But since she's in a little bit of a situation right now, it's Cheryl. Now, what I don't understand is why cats be acting crazy when I tell them that. You know what I mean? I, I think Cheryl's the shit. Not only does she get more bitches than I do, which is obviously attractive, the girl scored 100 points in one game. No dunks, just jumpers and layups. I mean, the shit was beautiful. Can you imagine if me and Cheryl had a kid? They'd be like Jordan meets Jesus. Jordesus. Jay, I know you're mad, but there's gotta be some good in all this. No, it doesn't. None at all. Shit is all bad, yo. How about this? If our wives are friends and hanging out, we'll get to hang out more. <laughs> I, I can't be the only one that feels like this. <sighs> oh, David! Why are you calling him? What's up? What's up? Hey, uh, do you ever hang out with your girl's friends? I mean, minus the ones with the straining orders. No. I tried once. It just landed me smack dab in the middle of a vicious breakup. You would think if your girlfriend's best friend decides to sleep over right in the middle of the week, that seems like a totally legitimate excuse to just go into her room after your girl falls asleep and just, you know, slip it in. That's my boy. And I'm not positive about this, but judging by the banging sound in my engine, I think that she poured sugar in my gas tank. Ooh. Third time this year, actually, that happened to me. Well, hey, my dad's not a mechanic, but I'm sure he'd be willing to take a peek. Oh my God, I would love to hang out with your dad. New friends. <laughs> I, that's not, uh, anyway. Uh, hey, Juan, come here. What about you, you hang out with your girl's friends? Me and my wife were in the same gang, I say. Everybody was friends with each other. Shit was great. See? Thank you, Juan. Until that armored truck robbery went sour and people started snitching. Then you never knew if someone was coming over to borrow salsa or kill you. Been there, playboy. <laughs> they got me with the salsa shit, too. This is ridiculous. Hey, Epstein, I, what? Dude, I keep telling you, my wife is dead. You were all at the funeral. Chuck, you were a pallbearer. Yeah, but if she was alive. I don't know. I don't know. You're not gonna find one person in this gym who has an actual penis who's gonna endorse anything you're saying right now. 
I mean, it's against human nature. No, someone has got to see my side. Oh, Blaze, Blaze. Yeah. What about you, big man? Well, you know, if you think about it, it's really all about landscape and layout. Think about a dead hyena, right? Buzzard subsequently surrounding and encircling its carcass, which ultimately we have there is a blueprint for the ever evolving, dare I say, delicate male-female dynamic. At the risk of sounding too didactic, and I assume we're all on the same page of the same graphic novel, I would submit that the fact that we even have in this dialogue reveals that Mother Nature is abundant. You feel me? Blaze, hey, what are you doing later, man? I mean, that's, he's, it's very, okay, fine. Maybe it wasn't such a great idea, my bad. But it doesn't matter because they're never even gonna hang out anyway. I mean, they're both so busy working and then when you throw in the kids for Janet, I, there's no way it'll never happen. <sighs> Janet. Hey, babe. I thought you had court. Ugh, a bomb went off at work today, Jay. It was awful. I'm, I'm going to meet Melissa for coffee. She was in the area and called to see if I was okay. It was so scary. Eight people died, including this judge that I've known since I've graduated from law school. He had three kids. A grandkid on the way, he just beat cancer, like a real survivor story, you know? Wait, 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 wait. You're going to meet Melissa for coffee? <sighs> this does not work for me. Hey, you need to understand something. My life is a delicately maintained ecosystem that I somehow managed to balance right on the border of Utopia and Armageddon. I hit any speed bumps and this glass of piss I call life spills all over me. You don't feel like you need to make any life changes? Oh, I gotta blow some urine out of my dick. Oh! <laughs> Here you go, beautiful. Ooh, ooh, what you doing? What you, uh, 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 I'm a beast in a pose. Get off me. <laughs> Yo, what's up? B. Nizzle, Lower Israeli basketball superstar. Great. Can I have the ball? You mind if I ask your name? It's Sonia. Ooh, Sonia. I like that. Like the Amazon broad. Yeah, Red Sonia. That's actually who my dad named me after. Huh, I was actually talking about Black Sonia from Dirty Manny's Gentleman's Club. Can I have the ball, please? First, you gotta promise you'll let me take you out so we can talk about your dad's passion for titty bars. <laughs> yeah, ooh, he's strong, ooh. Oh, okay. I'm be watching you, Sonia. Red or black. <laughs> watching you too. You need to fix this. How? I don't care. Just fix it. Tell Melissa you need to hang out with her every day for the next three months. Doing what? I don't give a shit. Tell her that you just watched your first episode of Friends and you're hooked. You need to watch every episode from beginning to end, plus the extras. No, it won't work. She knows I've seen every episode of Friends, plus the extras, and the unreleased Lost episodes. Yet we even went to a taping of Big Bang once, dressed as Ross and Rachel. <laughs> it was... Nobody really got it. Please, Lord, don't do this to me. I I've already got Lola's soccer bake sale and JJ's band practice and that goddamn Nora Ephron book that Janet's making me read. I, I don't have time for this in my life, okay? I promise I'll be better. Oh, you know what I haven't seen? <laughs> Desperate Housewives. <laughs> oh, man. Now that show has me and Melissa written all over it. I'll buy you the box set, okay? Just keep her busy and away from my life. In the meantime, I got a plan B. If you're gonna say Frasier, seen them all. <laughs> Interesting fact. The guy that played Frazier, not gay. The guy that played Niles, very gay. I'm gonna tell Janet that Melissa's a registered sex offender. What? Yeah, you know, kids are Janet's thing. I mean, anybody that messes with kids is immediately off her list. You know what? Why don't you go with murderer instead? See, Melissa killed a guy. Janet's a mom, you know? Killing a guy doesn't pack the same kind of punch. Say she killed some kid then. Just hit him in the road, kept driving. Nah. Yeah, Janet really hates kitty touchers, you know what I mean? I'm gonna stick with registered sex offender. Well, you know, just because somebody's a registered sex offender doesn't mean they mess with kids. What? What are you talking about? Well, I, I'm just saying it's a common misconception with Megan's Law. Well, hold on. What, what are you doing right now? No. No way. You're a registered sex offender. Yes! I knew it! I knew it! Right here. I knew it was wrong. When I took it. I'm yeah. not a sex offender. Oh, God damn it. Well, then why do you keep... Whoa, 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 whoa. Is Melissa a registered sex offender? Um, technically? <laughs> oh, boom! Ah, give me that. Fork it over, Big L. Yes. <laughs> I told you, I could spot a freak a mile away. It's a gift. <laughs> so Chuck D, she a rapist, huh? That shit is sexy. 
I just don't understand how you keep winning with her. She's not a rapist or a pedophile or anything else. It's not like that. She was dating some NBA dude who had her super insecure because he was always cheating on her and she wanted to catch him. So she went to his house, she looked in his window to see who he's with and he called the cops on her. They gave her a peeping Tom charge. Now she's considered a sex offender. Yeah, that sounds awful. Strangely enough for me, that's the best news I've heard all day. Once I tell Janet, my problems are history. Whoa, 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 what? So, Melissa's still peeping? That's a legitimate question. Hey, babe. Hey, you got a second? Yeah, hurry up. Melissa and I just finished coffee, and if we get to the gun range in 20 minutes, we get a discount. Hold on, you just finished coffee. It was hours ago. I know, we have so much in common. Anyway, what do you want? Hurry. Right. Wait a minute. You have a gun? Where's the sweet Janet from our wedding day? She's still trying to figure out how she got that new strain of syphilis, leading her to become the embittered woman who's about to hang up on you and go to a gun range. Yeah, okay, fine. And since I don't feel like having another session of explaining airport toilet seat syphilis to you, I'll just tell you what I caught for. Chuck's wife? Melissa? She's a registered sex offender. <laughs> Can you believe that shit? I know, she told me the whole story. Can you believe what that asshole Terrell did? Uh, hold on. She told you? It's pretty heart-wrenching. I'll let her tell you herself when we're in Solvang wine tasting this weekend. Wine tasting? I, I thought we were going to dinner. We are, in Solvang. I cannot wait to ask Melissa what she thinks of that bookcase you and Chuck built together. I'll go peeping with her. Yo, Larry, I think I got her on the ropes, big dog. Yeah, I can tell by the way she's doing nothing to give you that idea. Once I take her down, I'm gonna make her my point guard. <laughs> now that you mention it, that's not a bad idea, replacing you a point guard. Crisp passes, few mistakes, she's solid. You're not following me. I'm talking about her playing for my team, my broad squad. Oh, do you play in a ladies' league? It must be really gratifying. But I could come in there and really dominate, put up some good numbers. Uh, when do they play? Is that Tuesday? No, man. I'm talking about my rotation, the chicks that I f with, my team. Every dude should have his own starting five. See, baby girl I brought with me today? That's my power forward. Now, she don't score a lot of points, but she likes to get down and dirty, and she'll do anything to win. And I mean anything. That farm girl should not be on anybody's starting five. I mean, I mean, bench maybe? You know what, Larry? You're absolutely right. That's why I'm thinking of releasing her. Oh, don't think, do. Wow. Yeah, I gotta admit, I'm really impressed and completely appreciate how fast you grasp my concept, man. I mean, now you gotta understand why it's so important for me to have Sonya as my point guard. See, the point is the one who gets to meet moms, gets keys to the crib, and gets all the real ATM receipts, huh? I mean, she really sets the table for the whole squad. She really does. That woman should not be on your team, bench included. Look at that frame. She's like Kevin McHale with little boobs. She could easily fill out a broad cut men's 48 long business suit. What's wrong with you? You're not gonna believe this shit. That's game. Oh, never mind. We got next. Come on now, guys, let's get one. Come on. Let's go, brother. Okay. Show me what you got. Come on, little nigga. Put some money. You ain't got nothing. Foul. Yo, lighten up, you punk bitch. You fouling the shit out of me. Ooh, ooh okay. Ball up for Softy McSoft serve the softest. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I got this. They like it like this. Bob Top, check it. Bam! I can see up your shorts. I like it. Oh, God. Hey, Tom. Oh. That's game, loser. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? She scored every point on you. Yeah, she did. And you know what? Shit was crazy erotic. <laughs> I know what to do. Jay Smooth, you got something for me? You think I should put ecstasy in her Gatorade? Because I was thinking the same thing, but she'd be watching that shit pretty close. What? Hey, we have to stage a fight between you and me in front of our wives. They see that, they'll have no choice but to side with her man and then have nothing to do with each other. Genius, right? That's it? How is that supposed to help me get Sonya? Like a fight fight? No, a pillow fight. Yeah, a fight fight. That's probably a bad idea. Ah! You got a point. I'll just fake the punch, okay? You know, I'll do like I do when I'm playing with my kids. I don't know, it, it sounds risky. <laughs> You're right, my kids are pretty tough. I'll just push you, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Okay, Melissa's here. What are we doing? Shit. I didn't consider the fact that Janet would be laid out of blind spite and resentment. I mean, we can't have a fight in front of just one of them. Yeah. You know, that's like gonna have the same effect. Okay, well, we need to figure it out quick because, you know, it's results night on Dancing with the Stars, and if I miss that, guys... Here comes Melissa. Oh, my God. Okay, Janet just pulled up. She did? Okay, uh, good, 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 good. Okay, okay. Now, hit me, and I'll just push you back, and these guys will break it up. Yeah. Right? Cool. yeah. Come on, dude. Fucking hit me. Hit him. Oh, just do it. Just do it. I can't. I'm sorry. You're my guy. I, I... Come on, you pussy. Your dad's sucking your wife's out fucking whore. Now just hit me. Come on, hit me. I will hit him. I don't think that's true about dad, and you don't mean that about Melissa. Shh, come on, just give me one. Just give oh. me one. What is this? Oh, my God. The time. Oh, Chucky, uh, are you okay? Is your, you know, oh, my God. You're an animal. I am so that? sorry. I think he's on steroids or something. That <sighs> bastard can't get an erection unless he's a bathtub filled with au jus. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. Oh. I feel sorry for you. Let's just go to the hospital. Come on. All right, you drive, I'll follow. Okay. It was surprisingly oh. light. Oh. I barely touched him. He was so nervous that as soon as you hit him, he just passed out. That boy is as soft as butterfly eyelashes. Hey! Fatso, in the car! She runs a tight ship. Oh, she is tough, man. Hey, yo, yo. John Blaze. You got me this time. You got me. Oh, oh, wait. You wanted this? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Get it? You want to be like a little basketball couple like, like Candace Parker and Sheldon Williams? You think my game's like Candace Parker, huh? No, he's saying you're Sheldon Williams. Right, because you're the man. What? You seen that dude face piece? All squished up and shit? No, f that. I ain't no Sheldon Williams. I'm Candace Parker. I man, be easy. Uh... Candace. Take it easy, Sonya. Good game, baby girl. All right, I'm out. You, 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 where you going? You going with them? Yeah. Reason? Oh, yeah. I gotta be honest. I played this one all wrong. You may have played that wrong. Please enter your password. First message. Yo, Jay, it's B. Crazy night. <laughs> so look, the chick I was with, Thank you.